Well, hi guys, etching and exposing a PCB in 10 minutes of time. So, this will be a two parter. This is the PCB, this is the layout with a, with, which I have already mounted in my exposure machine here. The time is set to 3 minutes and 40 seconds, which is a good time for those bullet uh, material I use. This is a little Ethernet adapter, and the two parter will be about um, etching, developing, and later on populating the board once I have the parts. So I removed the protective coat from the PCB. I cut it in a way so this this little piece will not get developed so I have to etch it away later. And I place it here. Close it. 3 minutes and 40 seconds starting now. Well, you do this in experiment. I mean, you, you you experiment with it around a little so you can get out the time. So, and then you can have it constant. This will be the developing path, which isn't quite ready yet. I use a natrium hydroxide. I use just just about as much as I think I'll need. This is also a little thing of experience. Uh, this pungered material likes it very sharp, so developing should also be a thing of, of approximately uh, one minute, maybe even less. Shouldn't, but it shouldn't go beyond two minutes. If it takes longer than two minutes to get get all the um, well coating away, it is it is well something went wrong. Oh yeah, this one looks quite sharp. If I see it, it gets too sharp, then I can always thin it out a little with water. <coughs> Alright. You'll see how I do this later on. So in the meantime, let's, ex let's explain how we will etch the board. I have here the etch bath, which is a very sharp combination of hydrochloric acid, salt soda, and Hydrogen peroxide, Wasserstoff peroxide. Um, you can make this very sharp. Making it, making it very sharp like I do, will probably lead us to a, a very good result. Um, I guess it will take about two minutes to do, to etch. But first, of course, we need to develop the whole thing. So I put this one back in its place. Uh, one more thing, you shouldn't do this indoors. I mean, etching with hydrochloric acid, doing indoors is a bad idea. I have uh, opened the door, so I have a little air cir circulation around here. It's not so good doing this indoors, but it's for you on the video. So, and I have these gloves that I'll use, uh, those are corrosion resistant uh, gloves. You don't need them with a, uh, uh, with a uh, developing bath because you can put your finger in there, it's not so not so bad, but with this stuff... One more thing before we start over developing. This is the, an old brew, edge brew, hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide. You always use a little one of the old brew to make a new one and then add the two components. Because it will use as a catalyst, will be used as a catalyst. It will go, f well, it will start faster and it will go faster. And the faster it goes, the better it is. I mean, if etching takes about a minute, you will have a very clear and fine uh, result. Well, 30 seconds to go. So, well, and our video has progressed four minutes. So let's see what we can do. Yeah. All right, 17 seconds. Once it's out, I will develop it. 10 seconds. It has a timer here. You can see it, but it has a adjustable timer here. So. Let's take it out. And you'll be able to see the structures on the PCB, on the developed PCB. Right? I remove. Oh, oh, there was a hair on this. I hope this doesn't make us trouble. I remove the rest of the coat here. We don't need this later on. 
and you can clearly see the difference where it was uh, exposed and where it was it wasn't exposed. Well, I use my fingers. You may not want to do this. Well, it's okay. All right. <laughs> it's good to see. It's it's a good thing I did because um, normally you would just saw it off so you can spare the material, but well. I was sawing it off as always so nasty work. I don't have a, a good saw. So there we go. You see? This is the exposed and developed PCB, which we will now edge. But before we edge, I just give it a little water. Wash it off. So this is a very sharp thing here. Don't put your nose in and don't and be aware that you don't touch it with your fingers. I, I really can only stress that. Oh yeah, it looks very sharp, and it is very sharp indeed. Oh yeah. You see how the unex um, the exposed parts of the PCB suddenly turn very, very dark. Um, it's almost too much of the <coughs> hydrogen peroxide in there, and it gases out. But I tell you one thing. This is one hell of a bastard here that we are using. I will close it now because it really gasses out and closing it makes it a little more bearable also for the user. And you're not so much in, in danger of spilling any of that stuff because you don't want to spill this. So how long would it take? Has it already started? We started, I mean, the copper being gone on some parts of the PCB. If you edge with this, um, if it doesn't turn the right color, if it doesn't turn into this almost, well, almost dark color shade, something is wrong with the components. If it has too much bubbles on it, you use too much of the oxidizer, so... Oh yeah, believe me, has already started. So I guess we, <laughs> at the end of the video, we may, may have a little time left. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> be glad you can smell this. It's not well, not very nice. Mm hmm. Already started. The problem is always the big areas that you exposed. It's if you want to sparse that, you would make them dark. But what I also wanted to prevent is some. Um, that it isn't plain, plainly on the film, you know, if you, you use materials to cover it then it may not be plainly de developed and then it, m it may get blurred. You don't want it to be blurred, you, you want it to be very sharp. And I think we, yeah, we may have done that. Well, unfortunately I won't make it in 10 minutes either this time. Well, maybe YouTube gives me a little grace time. <coughs> if you look closely in this HD video, you'll probably even see it gassing out. That's very nasty. I mean, it's. I, I really, I really made this one so sharp. I 
Okay, I guess I can make it a few more seconds. That's why this stuff isn't so well suited for beginners, because it is very nasty. Always wear those gloves. And better you wear protective glasses. Okay, let's show it to you. That's it.